everyone, I have a special guest with me today on my channel. This is Asante. Hi guys. Do you want to tell everyone what you make videos about? Yeah, sure. So I'm on a channel called Asante the Artist and over there I do creative videos, filmic stuff because um, I studied film and I also do videos about social issues and college advice. That ties into what we're going to film about today. We're going to uh, talk about our experience with finding a job after studying. So I went to yeah. design school, Asante went to film, film school. school. And we're going to talk about how we got into the industry, I suppose, and give you guys some tips. So how did you get your first job? And how long did it take as well? Yeah, so my first job out of college was an internship. Mm -hmm. And um, it was an internship at the design firm IDEO. Cool. Um, That's a pretty great first yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like kind of a dream job because, yeah. you know, IDEO is like a really prolific design place. Um, and I was doing videos for them. And it was through an alumni connection ah. um so i had you know been doing some networking programs with alumni and uh, someone recommended me because they were looking for an intern mm -hmm. and then from that alumni she passed me on to where she used to work um and i'm working now on arthur uh oh. at wgbh that's amazing um so that's you know in television in educational media and it was really through networking. Making those connections. Yeah, making connections. So how did you make those connections? Like, was it alumni networking events? Is that a thing? Yeah, alumni yeah. networking events is a thing. Um, there's this program called Harvard and Hollywood. And so through doing that program, they um, took you out and you spent three weeks in L.A., one week kind of seeing the different um, production companies, mm -hmm. agencies that there were Harvard connections to, and then two weeks doing an internship. Oh, cool. Yeah. And so while I was there, um, got connected with people who were also doing like art and animation. Um, and so, you know, kept in touch. It's really good, important good. to keep yep. in touch and follow up, email. Um, so I went back the next year and had lunch with, with nice. people the next year again. Um, and so she had me in mind when her mm. friend, who was also a Harvard alum, came and said, hey, we need someone to do videos at IDEO. I feel like my university didn't have so much of that sort of thing. You really had to go out there and find those connections yourself. Mm -hmm. Or like sometimes tutors would know people and be recommending students. So it was really important to, I guess, do well in classes and like show yourself to be a person who was really passionate and interested in class. Like if you showed up late and didn't bother handing in the assignments, yeah. obviously the tutor is not going to think you're serious about it and going right. to recommend you for things. I think definitely um, t taking advantage of the professors yeah. that you have um, in your university or college is really essential because um, my film professors were very formative to my experience. That's I great. actually, I didn't start out majoring in film. I started out in engineering. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, cool. yeah. So I started out in engineering thinking that I was going to do architecture and then I moved to computer science because I was thinking of doing more graphic design, interaction design, web design. And then ended up in film, partially on the advice of some of my really great professors oh, so who nice. were, you know, cultivating, you know, my skills and saying, wow, you have such potential and such talent. Um, and so with their encouragement, I felt comfortably, comfortable enough to actually declare that major my senior year That's of so great. college. They saw something in you and <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, and they so definitely that. make use of your professors and your tutors because remember that they've had careers as well exactly and, you know that's why they're there teaching you is because they've been out and done things the way I got my first job was just by going for it really and being okay with taking a position that wasn't at like a big fancy like IDEO mm -hmm. type uh, design firm or anything I took a job as an in-house designer at a small company that distributed Mitsubishi electric products so that's like heat pumps and fridges which doesn't sound very exciting you know like that's not anyone like your dream right, job. That's, not, that's dream. not why I was yeah. going to university, but I learned so much there and I yeah. was able, cause it was a small company to just get in on the ground floor and be involved in big strategy meetings with the managing director nice. and all that stuff was so important for me starting out. But a lot of people in my class sort of, they looked at that job and they're like, that's not pentagram, you know, that's right. not the kind yeah. of job that yeah. I want to have. But I knew that I just wanted to start and get in there. So I would say looking for jobs at smaller companies or internships where you can get a lot of hands-on experience yeah. is a good way to go. Because from there, I was able to try out a lot of stuff, including digital design, which is what led me to changing to becoming a web designer and nice. moving to a tech company. I would agree with that. And mm -hmm. also say to like, be humble <laughs> yeah. as you're first starting out. And like there are things that are entry level. Um, I was looking at Hollywood stuff and everybody starts in the mailroom if yeah. you're in an agency. 
Um, so, you know, don't be afraid to take those entry level positions. Uh, right now I'm a production assistant, which is also the starting point, yeah. the point of entry, where a lot of people start. So it's a lot of note taking, a lot of emailing. I'm not really like hands-on creative as much, but I am, like you said, learning a lot. And you're on the with, path. Right, and I'm yeah. on the path and, you know, I'm learning from the people around me, uh, from the executive producers and, yeah. you know, seeing how everything comes together. Make sure you're taking the experience and making the most of it too. So like you're doing with like making sure you're learning things, don't ever feel like... I don't know. M make the most of the journey and enjoy the journey as you get there because I don't know if, if you don't enjoy the journey, I don't know if you'll enjoy the end result mm. either, you know? One last word of advice, um, I think is something, um, something that I heard that was very critical in my mindset was, uh, don't compare, connect. Mm. So that's, um, something that the president of Harvard said to us, Harvard students, as we're going about our four years, is that it's really easy to compare yourself to other people who are like at a certain point in their careers and they've accomplished this thing and you think that you should be at that point, but success looks different on everyone. Instead of, you know, comparing yourself and saying, oh, I should be there, like connect with that person, reach out, like learn from them, like make friends. And um, that's one way to really organically network and just enrich yeah. your life in general. Um, networking isn't all about just using someone for personal gain. Yeah. Um, I think it's, it's really obvious when people do that too. Yeah. So it's, it's never going to really be successful if you so, do that. Just generally show interest in other people. I like that. Good last advice. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on my channel, Asante. Thank you so much for having me. We're going to go and film a video now over on Asante's channel. Yeah. It's going to be about finding and defining your style, right? Yeah. So head on over to Asante's channel and watch that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.